Great deal. Two eleven. This is the last of the good Damn. stuff, boss. I know. Some of those bottles I've had for ten years. But we gotta make payroll. Get it out of here. Word them. Load it up. <clears throat> good to see you, boys. Boss. Any word on his nice suit. Was Salvatore? You did fine, Tom. galati has got nothing on us now. We bought some time. At least until the money runs out. Don't go selling off the farm yet, boss. Sam says you worked out an angle. Yeah, and you're gonna love it. <laughs> a few bucks and knock out a couple of Morello's teeth, too. Okay, what's the rumpus? A couple of weeks ago, I'm relaxing in the cigar lounge at the Blue Tropics. Where? Some small-time whorehouse. It's just a couple of closets with some mattresses on the floor. It's a gentleman's club. They got there we go, gentleman's club. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, one of the Johns is south, and he's crying to the madam about all his troubles. He catches my ear on account of his goofy accent. He's going on and on about how he just landed this huge payday. But the goons he's working for are already twisting his arm, and he's got the busted nose to show for it. You pick up his tab? Hell no. But I walked him out of the place. Pulling in a lot of around the crap. Corner, just, <laughs> just trying to help the boss, trying to help the gang. Turns out his name is Gates. He's this hick up from Kentucky. Moonshiner? Uh-uh-uh. Better. His pop's got a couple of real distilleries. And I'll give you one guess as to their exclusive buyer around these parts. Morello. And you think he wants to burn bridges? Oh, yeah. I've been working him steady, boss. He's bringing up another shipment tonight, but he's got his entire crew ready to roll over. All we got to do is make it look like a proper heist. I don't know, Polly. You really trust this guy. He's got no love for Morello, I'll tell you that. Not like we got a lot of options here. Mm. We'll be cutting up the last beam pretty soon, boss. What That's true, think? yeah. I say we do it. We Why not? The Canadian. Mm. If Polly says this Gates can do that, I'm in. Yep. Where's the meat? The big parking garage downtown. Okay, do it. But you better not be playing grab bass this time. You take Carlo and little Bill with you. Okay. Sure thing, boss. Once you have the truck, drive it back here. We won't let we'll you down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in this. <laughs> I don't, don't want to play worry, this friggin'. You know, I don't want to use this goddamn car. This car sucks. Okay, get in the car, you Carlo. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. I hate this car. <laughs> Give me the heck out of this car. This car already driving better than the last car. I'll take it, I guess. Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, uh, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen. I spend more time with a Don than all of you put together. Sure. Sure. Sat out on the road waiting until he's finished with his broad. <laughs> if you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you coming. The boss said you coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates sell on Morello Wings? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. He'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. Can you go? Like what? 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 What was I saying? Oh, oh yeah. Why can't you just turn the corner, bro? Bullshit, Tom. Just turn the corner, man. Somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the just turn the corner. Just driving places. Then, then you get to pick holes. Anyway. True. Whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come to me. You serious? You're actually serious. Fellas, knock it off. Christ. Watch the road! 
I'm fine. We're fine. We got some heat, Tom. We're good. Deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Gates is waiting up on the top floor. All right. On the top floor. That's. Well, it's only three. It's only three lot parking garage. Not that bad. Seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Bowie? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Five floors? They look way. They look way less than five floors. I'll tell you that. Where's over there? Holly, good to see you, pal. Yeah. The heck kind of accent is that? Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here, Tommy. I like me some whiskey. Every now and then. Oh yeah, it's fine. Your first payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more rents. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we are always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. <laughs> thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <laughs> No, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, uh, don't yeah. with all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> True. That's not ours. True. Well, now it's a proper robbery. How the hell do they know about this? Because you always shoot your mouth off. Tell Gates took a bullet. That sucks. You should be fine, right? You should be fine. As it looks, and take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. Go, go, go. So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo. Okay. With me. You know you stead. Tommy, check also the true. More of them. This thing ain't over. Come on up. Got it. Up. Let's go. Gotta clear crap up again. Just figured out how to do the shoulder swip swap. <laughs> swip swap. What?
Can you get, get there we go get the cover Ammo though, yep, there we go. Perfect health. Thank you. Yep, truck be moving. Okay, one second. Oh, you're just gonna run down there, okay. That works too. Be in here or no? Is there a way through this fence? Is there? Open this door. Downstairs. I knew there was a freaking guy down here. I knew there was a guy down here. Let my guard down for one second. And then boom, there's a guy. How do I turn on the sprinkler? Oh. There we go. Now it's raining. That was intense. It was? Flames on my face. Right. There's a good chance it's probably not over. Keep moving, fellas. Yep, keep just keep moving. on going. I'm over. The trap with you. You see more? You got it. Over here. Hey. I got you. Grenade. Bye. -bye. Thanks, man. You see the other three shots, though? That was a crazy. Uh-oh. Thanks, man. Lucky I ran out of ammo. Get in the car or no? Probably not. Are we good? What do we gotta do? Open the door? Okay. Oh, he killed that guy. That sucks. Uh, how do I open up the thing? Is there no way to open up the door? Uh, okay. Talk to Sam. Oh. Okay. Grab a set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. Gotcha, Sam. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Get them where it hurts! Instantly stopped, okay. Morello said more 
guy's after us! Another motor coming after the bull's truck! This is where the classic mode really kicks in. Right here. There's police right there. out of the way sir I think we lost them all thank okay. Christ for that that's true thank God see what we got we got the booze I mean I know it didn't go to plan but we got the booze true yeah so tonight got the main objective that's all that really matters oh my goodness I guess we are not much mm hmm I don't gotta go inside too, do I? Probably. I did. <laughs> don't worry about that. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about mm. the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. And his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Mm hmm Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo. Saludo. Salud. Bro. Great deal. That chapter wasn't even that long. Thank God. Intermezzo. Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Waking up to him, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. Oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything except peddling dope. By 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. Wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it? Uh, content. Satisfied? Content, yeah. Yeah. That was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Salieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. Playing him off one another, trying to goose the take, but once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. Damn. It was a missing piece. How was that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. 
learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. Uh-oh. 